Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Review today. Thanks for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Alright guys, today's beer comes from Long Live Beer Works. And I have done some of their beers before guys, and they make some very tasty beers. Uh, and they're not up in the, uh, the usual conversation of uh, uh, some of these outstanding world-class breweries uh, that are up in New England and stuff. And this one's out of Rhode Island, so they're right up there amongst all those outstanding breweries that are producing these world-class beers up there. Uh, this is a, uh, a little bit bigger uh, version. This is a double dry hopped version of the All-Seeing Eye. And they've done a handful of variations of this, a single hop, double hop, triple hop, and several different vari other variations. But uh, evidently they got a really good base recipe for this and they're just trying different things so that's how it works you know try something a little bit different and you got a just a slightly different variation and it might add something that's not present in the previous variation so uh, let's jump over to uh, untapped and they have it says double dry hop version of the all seeing eye hop with Simcoe Citra and Kuhatu, Kuhatu, Kohatu, K O H A T U, Kohatu, Kohatu. Sounds Hawaiian or something. Uh, anyway, and the pictures here, it looks super cloudy, super hazy, almost milkshake looking. Uh, so, and I love those milkshake beers, they are lactose. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of breweries I think are actually using lactose if they're not saying they're using lactose uh, to get that super sweet orange juice looking tasting beer so uh, and again this comes to me by the way of my beer brother Greg and uh, he's got his hands on a bunch of tasty breweries in his neck of the woods so uh, it is much appreciated sir so uh, he writes on this one, he made the trip to the brewery with a friend. This is one of their more popular brews, so we're going to find out. If it was closer to me, it would probably be one of my more popular brews, but let's find out. Uh, on the bottom here, in big letters where you can read it, 11 16 23. So, November the 16th. So, a couple weeks old. A couple weeks old. To the glass we go. Yeah, that is super hazy, super cloudy. I mean, a lot of pulp in there. And it's a little lighter coming out of the can, but it'd probably look a little darker once it's in the glass. All right, that's all I'm going to pour in there. Really nice cascading effect on that. Guys, that looks awesome. That is super, that's not just hazy, that is super cloudy. Like again, almost to the milkshake version of the double IPAs uh, with that much pulpiness in there. It's still a little lighter on the color, but mm, damn looks good to me. Mm. To the nose we go. Oh wow. That smells fantastic. It's almost like, like a tropical fruit punch milkshake. I mean, it's got, I, you know, it doesn't say lactose, but it's got a super sweet aroma with peaches and pineapple and grapefruit. I'm getting bananas and apricots and mango. Wow, pineapple. 
That smells awesome. That smells outstanding, as a matter of fact. I will go that far and say it smells outstanding. Mm. Looks outstanding, smells outstanding. Is it taste outstanding? Let's find out. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Thank you, my brother. That is absolutely delicious, guys. I mean, mm, mm, mm. I would buy this all day long. All day long. That's what I'm talking about. That's a New England style beer right there. New England style double IPA, double dry hop. Mm, mm, mm. Don't get a whole lot better. Gets a little better sometimes, but. That's a definitely an A beer. Let's go sip on it. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for about an hour now, maybe a little longer. Awesome lacing. Look at the lacing on that glass. That's absolutely fabulous. Guys, this is definitely blowing my hair back and my socks off because it's been quite a while since I think I've had a tin beer. And uh, this one fits the bill pretty readily. I mean, it's it's checking all the boxes for this guy so uh, I most definitely would spend my money on this beer uh, if it's not a 10 in your book maybe your book's a little thicker than mine <laughs> uh, but uh, for what I'm tasting and as smooth it is and as easy to drink as it is for an 8.5 Four percent. I think I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yes. Uh, very well done. Very well done. So again, worthy. See it. Pick it up. Get it. Somehow. Final job. If you're a New England style double IPA fan, that if that's your favorite style, this is worthy of picking up, no doubt. If you don't like that style, don't bother. But it's worthy to me, guys. And uh, I'm gonna give it to ten. I am. Uh, I mean, I could just easily give it to nine, but it's got the date on it, ABV on it, double dry hop. Super milky shake looking, yeah. Had all the taste, all the body. Nice and thick and chewy. Yes, it's a winner. Ten for me, guys. So let's jump over to Beer Abigail, and they say 93, outstanding. It is an outstanding beer, but it's better than a 93 to me. And over to Untap, they have it at 4.36 solid A numbers from those. So I'm going the extra step on this one. I like it. And like I said, I've done some of their beers before and they are producing some very, very tasty beers. So be on the lookout for these guys up and coming. And uh, again, they may have been around for a while, but hopefully their distribution is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, maybe one day they'll be available here and Greg won't have to ship them to me or send them to me or get them to me. Uh, I just want to be able to get tasty beers here, and, and they are a lot here, but they're kind of pricey, and a lot of the tasty beers are pricey, no matter whether you get them a thousand miles away or you get them at the brewery, uh, I mean, you go to Treehouse and some of these other breweries, they're well-made, awesome beers, but you pay. You're not going to buy an 18-pack for $10, I can tell you that. Anyway, if you've had double dry hop, the all-seeing eye. Let me know what you think, guys. And Greg, thanks a bunch, my brother. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.